Hello there. Welcome to Healthy Cooking with your friendly Italians. I'm Jim Bureau. And I'm Marilyn Bureau. And we're here for, with two very special guests from Parker's uh, wonderful restaurant or grill and, and tap house. Uh, uh, we have Chef uh, 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 that I've known this guy for a long time. He was up mm-hmm. at the Country Club, Chef Jay. And with, with him is the, the manager, Car- uh, Carol, right? And we welcome. Uh, and we're going to be talking about uh, uh, this, the, I think, the, the busiest restaurant in the area. I think it is. I think it's because uh, of, I think you serve food that most people like. I mean, it, is, it isn't particularly gourmet, nor is it just it, down. Uh, you, you've got a, vari- a, a large variety that you serve, so it does please many, many palates. And it's good comfort food, yes. and it's what people like, and you do a good job with it. So we're going to be talking about all those things. We're also got some recipes for you. We're going to uh, give you a recipe for the best potato salad in the world. According to Jim Bureau. You, know, you didn't like have to say that. According to Garp, but it's according to Jim Bureau. Uh, and we're going <laughs> to we're gonna also, we got a recipe for uh, uh, poaching chicken wings and then roasting them uh, and not frying them, and then you put your sauce on it. And then a, a nice uh, fish fillet with a little uh, lemon and, and panko on it. So that's what we're going to be talking about today. And they'll so, be all on the website at the bottom. Yes, yes. right. So, so uh, Parker's has four restaurants in this area. Newark, Geneva, Auburn, and the best of the lot, Seneca Falls, right? You, you're very lucky to, to have, we're very lucky to have this restaurant here, and I... I think a lot, most of the people in this support it and really like it, and rightfully so. Now, Carol, do you manage just this one, or do you manage all of them? I manage Seneca Falls and Auburn. Okay. Uh, we started Auburn in uh, 2000. Yes. Uh, January 16th, 2000. Mm-hmm. And Seneca Falls was January 16th, 2011. Right. Okay. Uh, there you go. All right, there so you go. So we share the same anniversary. <laughs> there you go. Well, for you people that don't uh, know about Parker's, it's got two dining rooms. It's got a party room. Yeah, and the party room is lovely. Yeah, we, a great party room. We went to a Kentucky Derby party there in the yeah. back room, which was loads of fun. We really enjoyed it. And a wonderful bar with all kinds of tips that uh, and uh, local beer, beers. We've got to talk about that. And outdoor dining. Uh, so you cover the full gamut of, of what's, uh, what's out there. Uh, let's talk about uh, the menu. Uh, you have finger food, you have salads, burgers, soups, the best, best soup around. We went there for lunch today, and we had a lobster bisque to that die for. That you could die for. This guy makes the best soup around, let me tell you. So you're going to you can have a sandwiches, you hot and cold sandwiches. You can have a pastrami sandwich. He, he's got a smoker out and back. Smokes that, smokes the the ribs. You got Mexican food. You got a a kiddies menu. You got desserts. You got coffee with a little yang yang to it. Do you know what that means? All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, <laughs> you you have fish fry on Friday nights. You have prime ribs on Saturday. You've got grilled pizzas. You've got smoked ribs, which uh, Jay does. Uh, you've got uh, local wines, and you have wonderful beers on they tap. How huge. many beers do you have on tap? We have 30. 30, 30 beers on tap. So Do you, you change fi- them regularly? Change them all the time. I'm, I started to carry a lot more local because people just want local. They don't want beer from out west they want beer from new york state and Mm -hmm. then there are so many more beer uh, places breweries around i mean this is another whole new business that sort of cropped up in the last few years it's very big very big and And do you what about local wines do you sell a lot of local sell a lot of local wines okay finger lakes wines and and some of the white wines mostly the rieslings and that are are some of the best in the world you can't beat them so uh, this this is covers all the all the book. and don't you ever uh, don't you have a, orca, a band come in on, on Thursday Sunday? nights? Thursday we nights, have live right. music uh, except for football season. We yeah. don't do it on Thursdays during football season. Well, where I sat today, uh, what was in the side room, I could see two televisions at the same time. One from the mirror this way, and then I look up here, so I could see two games going on at the yeah. same time. And you usually hear sporting events, don't you? Right, and we do have the Sunday ticket. 
yeah. for and football season, which yeah. is great because you get every game. Oh, you wow. get every game. So yeah. how does that work? Every TV has a different game on it. All right. So you watch your own thing, right? Did you have the horse race on this? Yeah, we did. Oh, that was It was great. crazy. Triple yeah. crown. Yeah. Yay. It was the bar full. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Yes. Um, let's talk about some of the things that uh, Marilyn and I like uh, and uh, uh, talk to you about those. Jay, you, you have something that's very unusual. You don't see it in restaurants. You have perch on the menu. And yes. uh, I think that perch, a perch fillet, is the best eating fish in the world. It's just a wonderful, wonderful fish. But you don't see it that often. But it's a great, great fish. Uh, we used to serve it in the ghoul. We, I used to uh, get some olive oil and garlic and put it in there and dip it and then put it on the grill and, and do it. It was good. But that's a great, uh, great item that you have. Um, you also have fresh tuna sandwiches. Yes. You, you, you hear what I say? I said sandwiches. That's not the way you're supposed, supposed to pronounce it. <laughs> sandwiches. I can't even say it. Sandwich. Sandwiches. Yes. Sandwiches. Which is another nice item. Now, do you grill grill that? Yes. You grill it and... Uh, or seared. Sometimes we sear it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do you have any particular spices or anything that you put we in? We have a pepper blend. Yeah. Okay. Use on it. And another thing you don't see around here locally is the lobster roll. Uh, which you serve, which is is fantastic. It's yeah. a destination so, so item. Yeah. yeah, yeah. People come from all over for that lobster roll. It's got, well, well, yeah. And the price is the price that, is very reasonable. Right, and there's not an, a lot of people that serve lobster around, but a lobster roll is really, really good. And your calamari, you do a little something a little different with your calamari. You fry it, but you have the uh, pepper rings that are in vinegar pepper rings. Yes. And they're they're and and the uh, they're a little spicier. The whole dish is a little spicier. Don't you mm -hmm. pour something over with some spice? Uh, a little in? lemon juice. A, a lemon, lemon juice, juice. Uh, which is another uh, great dish. Um, let's talk about some of your sandwiches. <laughs> uh, everybody seems to like your pork burgers. That's how something you, you can't get any place right. else. Tell us about your how, what's what's in a pork burger. Besides pork, uh, I put some chili powder in it and Cajun seasoning that I make. So you, you make, make your, your own, own Cajun? Yes. Okay. God bless you. <laughs> I, I can get up and kiss you. I learned that from you. <laughs> there you go. He would have, yes. In those days, yes, he would have. It's local pork. It comes from Bostrom Farms. All right, where is Bostrom? Uh, Bostrom me. Farms is in Penyon. Well, not Penyon. Um, I think it is Penyon. Hopewell, up that way. Um, so it's a local farm. It's a farm and uh, they do a great job great job and that you know this and is the we, whole new thing about using local um, you know we it promote a, it a lot yeah e eating you know well eating. all over I think that's the change in the American menu is basically that you know people are trying to use local products and trying to make things t and they do taste better than being shipped from God only knows where right so you also have something that I'm glad to see that you have on the menu that you don't see a lot, is the Italian beef sandwich, which a lot of people look at it and they say, well, what, what is an Italian beef sandwich? What the secret ingredient? It's the Giardinera. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know what Giardinera is. That's right. It's, it's so ex tell us, Jay. Uh, we puree it. I add some banana peppers to that, the same okay. peppers we use for the calamari. Okay. All right. So, and but the Giardinera is yeah. basically... That's what makes marinated the marinated yeah. vegetable, right? Yes. Yeah, yeah. A combination of things like Cauliflower, carrot, carrots, carrots. There, there's celery. a pepperoncinis. There's yeah. a place down in uh, Louisiana called uh, City Grocery or something like, that, which started the mufaletta, and the mufaletta ha uses somewhat of. The Jay city. does a great mufaletta. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he makes an amazing. Yeah. Do you use it, use it as a special sometimes? That yeah, you do? and a lot of parties, a lot of the, the parties? crazy parties we do. That's great. And my favorite is you, you have a beef tenderloin sandwich, which is a, is a really, really a nice dish. I really like that. Everything is there is good, you know. Um, you also smoke your own ribs? Yes. Wow. And the greatest comfort food in the world you have, a open-faced <laughs> pot roast with mushroom uh, onion gravy 
with mashed potatoes. Now, how you can't get any more comfortable than that. Mm -hmm. No, that's a good one. Yeah. It's probably my favorite. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. That's a great, great dish. So tell us some of your favorites, Carol. What are you? My favorite. Um, I love the scallops. Mm -hmm. yes. That's my dinner on Sun or every Friday night. I have scallops. I love Jay's pasta dishes. He does great carbonara. He does great saute dishes. Uh, we can go above and beyond what a lot of the other because we have a larger kitchen. Oh, is we, it? We yeah. have a saute station. We have room. We have extra ovens. We have extra um, burners on our stoves. And, and the other, other restaurants do not have J. Right, right. <laughs> we, we have an advantage. You damn right you do. And, you know, he even his Mexican food is good. Do oh, you have any favorite? Mexican in your blood? No. no, no, no. But I, I worked at a Mexican restaurant. Oh, okay. You, all right, because you know I've always liked the quesadillas. You know, if, if when I'm in doubt, that's what I order. But I love your quesadillas. So. And uh, we we can't talk enough about the soups that you have there. Uh, you have a very spicy soup, which is zucchini and and sausage soup, which well, is... Well, tell us about how you came about making some of these soups. And, and, and he, well, he won't tell the secrets. Well, well the not the secrets, but just <laughs> w w what motivated you to make some of these combinations? Because the lobster bisque is not the normal lobster bisque you get. Not what <laughs> I ate a today. A lot of practice, I guess. A lot of practice. <laughs> yeah. Years and years of practice. I just wanted my soups to be better than other people's, so... Well, you certainly do work at that. Good ingredients. And the well, that always makes it. Yeah. <laughs> and the French onion soup is real French onion soup instead of this dehydrated, dehydrated mm -hmm. crap that mm -hmm. you get in some places. Really, really good. Uh, uh, so, so we have the soups. You also have some great salads. You have a, a steak salad, right? Yeah. That's a big seller. Uh, you have a chef salad. Now, when you talk about a chef salad, we're not talking about a, a, a house salad. We're talking about turkey and ham and, and that type of stuff in it. So it's a chef salad. What do you find are probably your more popular dishes? The most popular dish is a burger. We of sell course. more burgers than anything. Uh, we do about 1,700 burgers and they're, a month. And they're half-pound burgers. And they're half-pound burgers. Except for the one... From Indelicados. Indelicados. It's all great. Indelicados hamburger from Auburn. Yeah. Yes. They do a great job for us. We've been I've been doing business with them since two thousand. Okay. Um, we buy our burger just from Indelicados. Do you sell many of the one pound burgers? Yes. <laughs> we sell they we have a lot of students, they come in. Uh, they have contests who can finish them first. <laughs> I had a woman about 75 years old the other day order one, and she ate the whole thing. Oh, God love her. <laughs> oh, dear. Well, and uh, you also have uh, a, a an Asian Asian salad, too, and that's mm -hmm. good. Um, you got your burgers, and you have the kids' menu. And for people that want things on the lighter side, uh, you have some vegetarian items on there. You have uh, the uh, portobello, the grilled portobello uh, on a ciabatta. Where, where, do you, where, where do you get your bread? Where do we get our ciabatta? The ciabatta comes from uh, Palmer's. Palmer's, okay. And you uh, hummus with pita. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, uh, you can have also a half, half, half and half, half soup, half... Yeah, have sandwiches, sandwich, which so you is can, good. You know, if you're trying to watch your diet, we all try to watch it. That's all I do is watch it. Yeah, we I watch it, and then we it. go back to the good <laughs> stuff. Even though it's called the light side, believe me, the calories are still I know, still they're, there. they're still there, right. <laughs> and then, you know, you also have uh, coffee, but it isn't just coffee. It's got all these wonderful things in it, different kinds of coffee. Besides Irish Irish whiskey, there's all kinds of things in there. Mexican coffee. Mexican coffee. And then you have desserts, cheesecake, wow, do and you, mud pie, yeah, do and you Maryland's make any favorite. Of your own or creme brulees. You make the creme brulees? We make the creme brulees. Um, a lot of them, a lot of the desserts are actually made to order. What Like when we order them, they're made for us. For what you it's want. From a company in Rochester. Oh, great. Very, yeah. yeah. Great. And Marilyn, they have, uh, did, have you ever had their uh, chocolate, chocolate lava? Oh. No, I should though, because oh. I'm a chocoholic, yeah. but I haven't. <laughs> we also have vanilla gelato, which is oh, delicious. that's great. 
I'm going to come over and kiss you. That's mm-hmm. wonderful. <laughs> You're talking right up my alley. Um, let's talk about the beers. Okay. Uh, you say we have you have a lot of local beers. Mm-hmm. Uh, give us a, a sort of a cross. Uh, uh, just a scope of the ty- of some of the names of the beers that are that are that you have. That you well, the rid- first thing, first thing I'll tell you, we have Brooklyn. We carry a All Brooklyn right. Summer. And now, the guy is from this area. The, the Steve Hindi, yes, yeah, was who I went to school with. His Did brother, you? his younger brother. But it's so neat having somebody from Seneca Falls being in Brooklyn, owning a brewery, and you mm-hmm. know supporting them. And yeah. and I had a gentleman come in and say to me the other day, "Do you know what the significance of Brooklyn beer is?" I go, yep, <laughs> you know, Steve's from Seneca Falls. Mm-hmm. And did you know that uh, another fellow, uh, local fellow, worked for him as a salesman? Gab Suen. Gab Suen. Oh, quite did a he while. really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He did. Wow. Yeah. Uh, we have Climbing Binds from Penyan, which what, they're what, doing what, a great what, job. What was that? Plim- climbing Binds. Okay. Because binds are actually what hops. It's not a vine. It's a bind. Well, it's, it's, yep. you know, you're beginning to see around here. People putting hop hops farms. in, too. Now, all of a sudden, in the farms, you're beginning to see the hops. Ithaca so. Brewing Company does a great job. Mm-hmm. We have several of their beers on draft. Naked Dove from Canandaigua, yeah, yeah. they like do theirs. a great job. I, I'm noticing a lot of IPAs. That, that seems to be the trend these days, IPAs. People yeah. love IPAs. Yeah, okay. The more grapefruit, yeah. the more bitter they are. People love them. Yeah. Well, you, you, you package it all. Uh, and it's a wonderful place to go, uh, and uh, uh, I'm glad that you stopped by to talk about this, and we surely appreciate uh, 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 this place in town, and it's always good to see my friend over here, Jay. So and, is there uh, any other things you'd like to tell that we might have forgotten? Well, just I, I would mention the back room a little more. We can yes. do a lot of parties. We do um, uh, wedding rehearsals. We do, we've had weddings back there. We had we had the derby party, which yeah. I tried to make it look like somebody's living room back there. It was, it was great. Cool. I really enjoyed it. Uh, it can hold up to fifty five people uh, sitting to eat. We've had grazing parties of eighty, ninety, a hundred people. And you've had meetings also. Where meetings. You- um, Gould's Pumps use, uses us a lot for uh, meetings in the back. Uh, the teachers union is there today, so it's it, we can use it for anything, which is great. Well, yeah, it's, it's a great, great spot. We're uh, lucky that, you, that you're here in Seneca Falls. Yeah, we are. We're very fortunate. We've noticed that there's a lot of eating places in Seneca Falls. I'm hoping that is a sign of the tourism um, growing. I do think we have some, you know, we've got between all the wineries and now the breweries, but you, you also have the National Women's Hall of Fame and the Women's Rights National Park and being involved in the National Women's Hall of Fame, we're getting a, a lot more Tourism's tour. Uh, you know, a lot more groups coming in. Our, you know, we had to go hire some people <laughs> people to even take care of it because we weren't open on Mondays and Tuesdays and found that we really needed to be. And they're going, uh, they're going to the Seneca Museum and all the museums. You know, we really have four or five museums in in. Uh, very near your restaurant. You oh, know. we see many of those people. Yes, many, many. Yeah, many. so they're going. It's in, you know, it's an easy place to recommend because you know that uh, it'll meet anybody's needs. If you re- recommend some other things, not necessarily you don't know what the people uh, like, but you know that they can find something at Parkhurst. So. All right, we. Uh, I told told the people we have some recipes for them. They're they're available uh, through the station. Uh, I want to talk about the secret ingredients in the best potato All salad right, in the world. tell them about that one. And I, I'm going to I'm going to ask Jay if he thinks this is uh, this is a good way. To go. <laughs> you take your potatoes, cut them up, uh, and I like Yukon Gold. Uh, you could also use new potatoes, and um, and uh, steam them uh, or uh, uh, put them in water, in salted water. And drain them immediately, and as soon as they come out, mix together, da da da, a, the secret ingredients: pickle juice, and a hot, uh, and some mustard, and pour that over the top when those are still still warm. Mix it up and put it in the refrigerator. Now right. you have the basis of 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 making a really great 
what I consider potato salad. What do you think of that, Jay? Sounds good. Yeah. I'm going to have to try that. <laughs> yeah. And then he mixes light mayonnaise and sour cream and a little sour cream and plain yogurt. And he uses the, the dill, the pickle relish, a little of that. Uh, yeah, I use pickle too. relish in the, in the mix. And I might put some peas or corn in it, depending on but the But you got to, that first step has got to happen. So that's a good recipe for you. Now, how about chicken wings? Well, you know, Jay uh, does wonderful chicken wings. But what I've been trying to do is trying to not fry and still get a crispiness out of a chicken so wing. So he's trying all kinds of, we keep trying different ways to make chicken wings. So in this recipe, I'm gonna take my chicken wings and split them if they're, if they're together, and I'm gonna simmer them in water for about six or seven minutes, and then uh, pull them out and dry them off, and then uh, put a little olive oil on them, a little, uh, little pepper, not salt, just pepper, and put them in the oven, cook them in the oven for a while, take them out, then put your salt out, and then use your whatever type of, of uh, sauce you want on it. Uh, it. That's completely up to you. Uh, so and and they tend to be crisp and a lot of flavor to them and tender, so it works out pretty well. And uh, the third recipe I have, which is a simple recipe, which you're taking uh, fish fillets, a, a, a light fish, a <clears throat> tilapia or something of that nature. The thicker, the better. And you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna bake it on a, on on slices of lemon lemon. And then you're going to take it out, and then you're going to uh, take some panko and, and crisp it up. Panko is breadcrumbs, Chinese breadcrumbs. And you're going to mix in some zest and some dill and, uh, and olive oil, and then crumble that over the top of the fish and serve it. It's almost like, um, what's that, Jay, what's that dish with the, with the cod that you get over in Auburn and a lot of places? There's a name for it. Egg scrod? Scrod. It's a, some it's that, but this is... A little uh, more lemon involved in it and stuff. Yeah, what what fishes do you like to work with? I like the cod myself. You use mm -hmm. the, the cod yeah. rather than the tilapia or the perch. And use a lot of fish. I, yeah, I would imagine. Yeah, do you, a Friday night's a good night for you. Get a good a lot of people eating fish yeah. on Friday night. Yeah. Good, good. Well, there it is. That's what we're we're doing, and uh, we uh, thoroughly enjoyed our uh, what uh, our day. And, and uh, we think remember it, tomorrow. All right. Tomorrow, the local the farmers, market, farmers market down. And I noticed that several farmers markets are starting. The Syracuse uh, farmers market started today. Um, and we encourage everybody wherever to use their local farmers markets. So yep. um, we encourage you to do that. I stop there every Wednesday morning. Right. Do you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Jay goes, oh no, now what did she get? What did now she get? what ideas does she yeah, have? Yeah, <laughs> right. Well, they have such wonderful stuff, and, and they do serve a lunch, you know, and it's just wonderful. It really is. So I encourage everybody to yep. use their local farmer's and markets. And the next time we get together, I uh, we had just gotten back from New York, and we went to the World Trade Center. Oh, what a... And, uh, we encourage you to go. It's just this opened was up. just opened when they just opened and, the uh, tour of the World Trade Center, and we went <laughs> Saturday morning. And we will discuss it another time. Right. But if you get to New York, do take it in. It is an incredible um, tour. And, and uh, I don't know, Jim. Are are we going to get uh, Chef Ben in next next time around? You think? Sure. Yeah. yeah. And we thank you so much. I know it's a hard time in the in the restaurant business to take your time at lunchtime at your busy time, but we thank you very much for making the time and uh, you know, we wish you the very best. We know that it's the stalwart of, a stalwart of we're, downtown we're, Seneca we're, Falls. Right. So, we're for, very happy that you're here. Well, yeah. we appreciate you asking us to be here. That's well, good. thank you. Uh, thank you. So, until next time, Ciao. Ciao.